Down to Business on News Talk. Now, News Talk is coming together with local businesses and communities right across the country to champion green. It's a new initiative to encourage all of us to support local and make it a year round habit. Uh, one business that certainly typifies the initiative is Pictorium. It's a photograph restoration shop in Monkstown Farm in Dublin. I'm delighted to be joined by Sharon Slowey of Pictorium. Uh, good morning to you, Sharon. How are you? Good morning to you, Bobby. Thank nice. you very much for having me on. Well, listen, let me talk about your own business. And I'm very uh, pleased to hear that you had a bit of a bonanza during the recent lockdown because people were discovering photographs and looking through photographs. Indeed, we did it in our own home. So tell me more about, about you know, the bounce that you've had. Well, first of all, as you said, uh, I own a business called Pictorium Photoshop. So I restore, retouch and edit photographs. So I take your torn, your damaged, faded photographs. And in essence, Bobby, I'll bring them back to life. Uh, we print them and print and frame them. But we also print onto over 120 sides of canvas, all from our wee local shop in the heart of Monkstown Farm in Dublin. And yes, in France, we have had a wee bit of a bonanza. Uh, like everybody else, we closed in the middle of March and we didn't open again until the very start of June. Now, about two weeks before we opened up, I had put my, my telephone number, all of my website, the front of the shop and so on, and I was getting a lot of phone calls. And as, as you can imagine, with three months, Bobby, with nothing to do and all day to do it, what did we do? We cleaned like mad ones. Yeah. And then when we finished cleaning, we started discovering things like our old photographs and, and to doing that thing that we had always wanted to do but never had the time. So I started getting a lot of phone calls and people were saying, what do I do with my slides? What do I do with my negatives? Can I do anything with them? So I was giving them a lot of advice and explained to them that you know we professionally um, scan in your photographs, your slides and your albums. And this has led to a phenomenal amount of work. Um, and, and in fact, one of my customers is now calling me the scanning ninja, Bobby, yeah, <laughs> because, I'm scanning, yeah, because I'm scanning in so yeah. many. So what we're doing is uh, for one particular customer, I'm scanning thousands of photographs. And part of the project is is to restore some of the photographs. And we're designing a photo collage. And it's a photo collage, which is everything from her mom when she was born, right through to courting, getting married, having kids and having grandkids. And we're creating a beautiful collage to, for that. And she's bringing it to the nursing home. So that's a really big part of our business. But what's happening as well, Bobby, is, is because people still can't travel and overseas, I'm finding a lot of people are calling me expats. Right. So for instance, Ashling, she lives in France. I dream that she's living in Paris. But she rang me and she was missing her dad's 80th birthday. And she was devastated. So what we did was I restored, printed and framed a couple of her, her dad's photographs of his old homestead. And a sister who lives locally came and collected them. Wow. So she may not have been there in spirit. No, body, I should say, but she's definitely there in spirit. Can I, can I ask you a question, of Sharon, course. about taking a photograph of a photo? If, if somebody has a photo of a photo, is that something that can be moderated or improved? Well, ideally, uh, Bobby, we <clears> take a look for the original. Because in the original photograph, there's a lot of hidden information that cannot be seen by the naked eye. Right. And whilst I'm restoring it, I can manipulate it while I'm restoring it to make sure I get the most possible detail from it. But if you actually take a photograph of your photo, all that hidden information is now gone. Right. And I'm at the mercy of that photograph that you've taken, which unfortunately good resolution, so you are not going to get the same quality. We can work with it, but you will never get the same quality as you would with an original photograph. Okay, and what's the actual work that's involved then in restoring a photograph? What type of things are you actually doing to enhance the photo? Oh, golly, we, we do so many different things, Bobby. You know, throughout my, my work, I've worked with you know, historians, genealogists, um, even sports and social clubs, and people like yourself and myself. You know, you may come in with um, a very badly torn photograph, the worst was when I had a photograph torn into 17 different pieces. So I actually, I call it kind of seamlessly put that back together again. I call it knitting it back together again. And you wouldn't even know that it was damaged in the first place. We have very badly damaged photographs that come into us. Some that I just have, you know, uh, tears and creases and rips. And then other ones, you know, Bobby, that may be black and white, but over the years have become discolored. We can then balance those tones and bring it back to a natural black and white for you. 
That's great. And we do that as well with color photographs that have gone very brown. Again, we balance those, those tones for you. That really lifts up the color and then lifts up the photograph for you as well. Okay, well, listen, it's great to hear such positivity, Sharon. It's great to see that somebody, and I know a lot of businesses have had challenges, but that you've got a bit of a bounce out of it, that you're, you are what is truly a local business, and we wish you every success and hope things uh, continue to go well for you. Well, you're very kind, Robbie, and thank you very much for the time uh, to take to speak to me. Okay, and follow the movement and find out more at newstalk.com forward slash champion green. Thank you.